for three seasons. Teddy Mellencamp, the daughter of rock and roll legend and Hall of Famer John Mellencamp, made a name for herself as the self-proclaimed pot stirrer on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And she did stir some pots. Well, now she's a popular podcaster as one of the teas in the two teas in a pod. Her comments are controversial, but she keeps it real all the time. But it's her words over the last weeks that have made her the biggest headlines yet. The mother of four sharing that she has been diagnosed with skin cancer, stage two melanoma. Teddy says it's been a wake up call about self care and it spurred a new mission that she wants to share with the Tan fam. Please welcome to the show, Teddy Mellencamp. Hi, thank you so much for having me. You know, I, I told you, um, Teddy, yes, you know, how much I, I admire you. And I said, I don't want to look at you and I because I didn't want to cry. Um, mom to mom, when you hear news like this and you have four babies, Isabella 13, Slate is 10, Cruz is seven, Dove is two. Yeah. Our thoughts go to our children. When you heard this news, how did you process it? Because it's still all raw and new. It's really raw. Just watching back the tape from the woman prior who was going through breast cancer and she's overcome it, I just immediately went back to that place. I would say that there's no one way to handle anything. I think it was a wave of emotions for me. Started out with denial. Mm. This isn't a big deal. This is fine. This is nothing. You spotted something on your skin. A friend, actually, Kyle Richards. Yeah. We were on a run and she was like, hey, this little, and they don't, they didn't look like moles, which I had always, I never did my research. I was like, you know, whatever. I, you know, I tanned when I was younger, but it is what it is. I put sunscreen on once a day. This would be good. Right. And they're just little white spots on my back. And then one had a little black dot on it. And Kyle was like, will you please go? And I have severe anxiety surrounding going to doctors. Oh, exactly. And I was like, no. And she's like, no, we are going now. And immediately I went and they knew right away that it was, that one was melanoma. I always wonder, what is that ride home like? So you have this news, they've told you right away, they still have to do some formalities, but you ride home. What is that like? I, at that point, I still hadn't understood the magnitude of it because the, doc, the dermatologist looked at me and she's like, listen, I'm 99% sure this one is melanoma. All the others look good right now. Um, you've got to come back in three months. And I was like, okay, great. We cut it out. And then I got the call. The margins are good. And then I went back after three months. And now I have nine more. Wow. So. What is the treatment plan? What are they telling The me? treatment plan. So I went in. Actually, I was in town doing the podcast for BravoCon. And I had gone in for my checkup with the oncologist. And they had done biopsies. And that's my first one was melanoma in C2. I think that's why I had a lighter feeling about it. I was like, okay, that one's fine. And then once we found out the one that was stage two, he was like, all right, we got to go in. We got to do a lot of different biopsies. This is when a PET scan comes in and all of these unknowns start creeping in. Um, and at first I, I had, I felt really strong yeah. and I felt like I had to put on a good show for my family. Yeah. And then I realized I was tense and I wasn't who I am naturally to them and being authentic and being vulnerable to them is what they needed. Mm. And the biggest takeaway I also did from this is as I'm getting the different surgeries and I have scars, you know, all over the place now on my shoulder was wow. taking my kids to the doctor. Yeah. Take, showing them, having their moles checked, seeing their bodies. So they, one, they know they're okay. And two, when you tell your kids, hey, you got to put sunscreen on, when, it's, when you're their mother, they're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But when a professional is saying, look at your mom. This is important for you. You need to reapply. You need to try to stay out of the sun when you can't, you know, all so of this. you're the example. You know what, I, I, I'm thinking about you because there you are obviously caring for your family, putting them first, but then you thought about your fans, all these women, all these people who have fallen in love with you and your <laughs> realness. I was so struck by your Instagram post. I think we have this, let's play it. So I just finished my workout and I got a call from the doctor that other spot came back, melanoma, and they asked me to come right in. So I'm here, I'm facing my fears, and making sure that I'm staying on top of these doctor's appointments, and I'll keep you guys posted, but it's so important. Go get your skin checks. Go get your skin checks. I know a couple of weeks later, you showed the photos of the biopsy scars. Um, you know, part of having a big platform is to share things to help others. And I love that, that I love that you are being so real to help others outside of your family. 
Well, I think the biggest thing for me, I mean, of course, we talked, I have self-proclaimed pot store, whatever it is, <laughs> you want to feel like when you have the opportunity that you could change lives in a positive way, Yeah. that you can. And also, just every single message of somebody going, I don't feel alone anymore. Yeah. Or, wow, since the pandemic, I've really ignored all of my doctor's appointments. Mm -hmm. And now this is something, it's not just about skin cancer, it's now about everything. Like we need to stay on top of these things because for so long, we all stayed home. Yeah. Especially in LA and New York, like yeah. we were home. Yeah. And it was tough even in, in like New York getting a mammogram appointment even for myself because it, the, things were opening up slowly and it's easy to keep putting it off. And we know that as women, we will often put off these things for others. You talk about um, the impact that you've had in the conversation. We let people know you were coming on the show and we were flooded by folks who wanted to send you messages. And take a look here. Oh. Teddy, because you shared your melanoma journey, you prompted me to call my dermatologist and make my first skin check appointment in nearly four years. I work full time. I'm a mom of two boys. I'm a wife and preventative health care was not at the top of my list. They did, in fact, find an early stage melanoma on my back, along with a second spot that needed to be biopsied. And I'm currently waiting for those results. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. I'm eternally grateful to you. <laughs> and that's just one of many. Yeah. You know, I love life because we, you know, as, as Shrek says, life is a parfait, we're layers. Right. <laughs> that's my favorite kids movie. <laughs> um, you're layered. You know, you're this real, raw, fun person that we love watching on that show and in this podcast. But at the end of the day, you're human. And this humanness that you're showing is helping people. Um, you have a message for those like the members of the TAM fam? I, I mean, just seeing that message just share it with every person that you know, like every person that you know, because it doesn't just stop with, with your skin checks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even now that I've had the skin checks and now I've, I, I have genetic testing because that's there's so, so many, there's things. so many different things. I would love to have you back on because there's so many things about women's health we need to tackle. And I just love you so much. Thank you so of much. Course. You've got to come back. Thank you guys. And go, get can, checked. go get checked out. You can listen to Teddy's podcast, Two Teas in a Pod, on iHeartRadio app or anywhere you listen to your podcast. For more information, please go to our website. Teddy, you are amazing. Oh.